Hello, this is Mr. Willis, and I am going to show you how to copy and paste. This is one of the most useful skills that you will learn in Computer Lab because it's something you can do in almost any program. So to start, I need something to copy. And in this case, I'm going to jump over to my web browser, and I want to copy the definition of the word Excelsior. It's a favorite for any of you uh, Marvel comic fans out there. And the first thing that I need to do if I'm going to copy is tell the computer which words to copy. And I do this by highlighting. So I'm going to place my mouse at the beginning of the words I want to highlight. In this case, I want to highlight this sentence, Ever Upward, the Motto of New York State. So I'll start at the beginning, click my mouse, and then I'm going to drag across all of the letters that I want to copy. And not until I reach the end will I let go. Now, once I've highlighted that, I can now copy it. And I can do this two ways. I can either put my mouse right on the words, right click, and choose copy, or I can bring up my little on-screen keyboard here. And on the keyboard, I can hold down the control button and also tap the letter C. And that makes a copy of the words that I've highlighted. Now it may not look like anything's happened because this copy has been placed into the computer's memory and we cannot see it unless we find somewhere else to paste it. And today I want to paste it into Microsoft Word so I'm going to jump back there. Now I'm on a blank page and I can see that I'm going to paste this right into the top line because that's where my cursor is flashing. Wherever that cursor is is where the stuff is going to go when I paste it. I can do it one of two ways. I can either right click and then I can paste. In Word you have a couple options. You can see they kind of change the way the letters look as you paste them. Or I can do that keyboard method again which is where I hold down the control button and then I'm going to tap the letter V. And that pastes the words I copied into my document. And there you go. So it's pretty simple. But while I have you here let me show you one more thing. Whenever I copy something from the internet, I want you to get in the habit of also copying the source, which in most cases means you, the web address where you found it. Now in some projects we may have more than this to, for the source, but this is a good place to start. So I'm going to click in the address at the very top, and I'll do my keyboard method again. I'm going to hold down the control button, tap the letter C, and there, I've made a copy. Now, I'm going to go back to Word. And a good place where I like to put these whenever I've copied these sources is in the footer. Now, maybe you've not done a footer for it before, so let me show you. I'll go to the Insert menu. And in Insert, they have something called the footer. So I'm going to click on Footer. And let's just make a blank one. Let's get the keyboard out of the way. And so you'll see this is give me a little bit of that room on the very bottom of the page. And I can paste. In this case, I'll do the, the mouse method. I'll right click, paste, and there we go. It's pasted my web address that I used to find the definition up above. So it's good to kind of keep some of these in your document with you so that you know where you found the different things that you copied. So that's copy and paste. I hope you find it to be very useful.